what's up guys welcome back to hmht so finally apple has moved on to weekly updates when it comes to these watchOS updates and today they have released watchOS 7.4 beta 5 now at the time i'm recording this video this update is available to developer beta testers and to public beta testers so regardless of the profile you have in your settings you can easily download this update should you wish to now just to add on i just want to show you some other updates that apple released today this is the apple developer website as you can see here so they released mac os pixel 11.3 beta 5 available to developers and to public beta testers and also ios and ipad os 14.5 beta 5 all these updates available to developers and to public beta testers and obviously watch away 7.4 beta 5 which i'm covering and tvos 14.5 beta 5 now there's something that these updates have in common i don't know if you picked it up from just looking here and it has to do with the build number that these updates came with you can see that mac os has an a at the end ios a at the end and basically all the build numbers that came with these updates that all these beta updates that apple released today have an a at the end and this is no exception to that it does have an a at the end and since i've already gone ahead and updated my apple watch series 6 to watch away 7.4 beta 5 i actually updated coming from beta 4 so the process was actually quite seamless and for me the update size actually came in at around 69.7 megabytes and i was updating from the beta 4 and this is the series 6 if you have a different watch or are coming from a different version your update size might be slightly different from what you are seeing here now if we go into the settings and go to uh, general just to see how much or just to see the build number actually that came with this watch if we go to the about section you can see the new build number that we have there it's 18 t 5190a so this build number has an a at the end and it goes hand in hand with all the other beta updates that apple released today they all have a's at the end which sort of hint that the official version is not too far off we're going to talk about the possible release date at the end of this video and so that's the new build number that we have here with watchOS 7.4 beta 5 and just comparing this to what we had on beta 4 beta 4 we had 18t5183b so we went from a b to a build number that has an a at the end which is so good and in terms of stability this is one of the best or most stable betas we are going to have when it comes to watchOS 7.4. And let's just go to see how much storage is being taken up by this update. I took the before and after and just takes a moment to load as you are seeing right here. As you can see, the available storage after updating is 23.1. It's interesting because before that, the available storage was actually 21.7. So we gained quite a number of space back and the used space is 3.4 gigs for updating the used space was actually 3.6 gig i didn't download anything or do any changes to when it comes to settings or add applications or remove anything it's basically the software update or the system in itself regaining back some storage back which is good i think from beta 4 up to this beta i've been gaining storage back which is good when it comes to these watch os updates now when it comes to the new features and changes you can only imagine what apple will add when they are this close to you know releasing the official version so if we go to the about here you notice a build number that has an a isn't really going to introduce a ton of new features and changes besides you know stability and security improvements in addition to the previous update but some notable changes that i noticed uh, that i have to give a shout out to have to do with the software update in itself so the software update was very seamless very quick typically it takes about 50 to 20 minutes to update but this one actually took about eight minutes all in all to completely update it was so fast i actually thought i didn't update and i had to check to make sure that i was updated and boom i was already updated so that's quite a good thing hopefully it's here to stay and not just a watch away 7.4 beta 5 thing so that's the first one the second thing that i have to mention although i didn't really catch this 
is well with ios 14.5 beta 5 the installation bar sort of became a little bit smaller so when i was doing the watch os update i actually didn't record it so i couldn't tell whether the installation bar also reduced a little bit in size but on watch on ios 14.5 it actually reduced a little bit before this bar was a little bit thicker but as you can see here it has been shrink down a little bit could be true on watch away 7.4 beta 5 i didn't record this if you did manage to see it just let me know or update me in the comment section below and basically the last change that i have to mention it's more of a fix for me because well before there were issues to this and it has to do with the activity tab so sometimes you notice that you know you going about your day as usual and your metrics wouldn't display properly so for me today and since i've updated i've been using this update for about four to five hours now and since i've updated my metrics and my rings and all the activities that i've been doing for the day you can see that they are logging in and i would like to think that if you are doing like a workout then this is something that also going to register unlike what we had since beta 3 i believe since beta 3 there were issues with this where metrics wouldn't register or your bpm would show the wrong information and basically for me this has been fixed and i would like to think it's a fix that came with watch away 7.4 beta 5 and other than that those seems to be what changes i'm able to highlight if i do find any new features and changes i'll update you on my social media handles and if need be i'll make a video now when it comes to bugs that are still existing with this update i noticed that after updating you know you can have your hand like this and then when you raise your hand sometimes the always on display doesn't brighten up to show that you've risen up your hand so that's still a bug that i faced about two times since i was testing for it like aggressively so keep an eye on that and that seems to be the only bug that i faced myself now when it comes to performance i would say that when it comes to like changing watch faces you know how with other updates you actually used to have delays when changing watch faces you can see how quickly this one updates and let's go to the one with the face since this one is the one that tends to delay a little bit you can see that the emo didn't actually start off by blacking out so it's good you can see it's working you tap it it's working and also if we were to open like an application like Paul just to see if there's delays or some frame drops you can see that it's quite smooth you know i'm happy with the performance that i'm getting and i'm even most of the applications that i've been using on my apple watch they are working as they are supposed to so i really wouldn't complain when it comes to performance so it's good when it comes to performance and now let's talk about battery just to see how good it is since i updated so we'll go back here and then we'll go to where it says battery right there so if we click on battery you can see that i'm on 91 percent and i basically charged my watch when i was doing the update because you need to connect it to a power source in order to charge so since then it rose to about 100 percent and you can see that it sort of dropped this is when i updated by the way right there uh, my watch was actually on like 16 percent and then when i was doing the update i basically just decided to let it charge to 100 and that's when it reached there and you can see the drain since updating that it's not something that's major or that's scary so it's good so far when it comes to the battery performance so i used about nine percent for the last video for the last four hours that i've been using this update and if we go to see the battery health you can see that it's still on 96 percent and basically before updating on beta 4 it was on 96 percent so maximum health capacity hasn't changed because of this update now let's talk about when we can sort of expect this update to be released because a lot of people are longing for this update because it introduces a very very major feature and in my opinion since the release of watch over 7 this update is the second most significant after that so you can see that today well the supposed day that we were expecting an apple event according to leakers or to rumors didn't happen but we got some software updates and also some apple application updates that were updated so since apple has now moved on to weekly updates when it comes to watch os we can sort of expect like the rc rc1 to be released 
next week so the week of the 29th to about 2nd of april i doubt they will release something on the 2nd of april so if it's going to be next week it should be 29 to the 1st of april that's when we can sort of expect an update and if they do release an RC1 and they find some issues, then maybe they will release an RC2. So the RC2 will basically come after like the RC1, which will be the week of the 6th to the 9th of April. And after that, we can sort of expect the official release the following week. Sometimes we don't even have to reach to an RC2. So if that does happen, then I'm looking forward to an official release if there's just one RC2 are somewhere around the second week of April. So that's when we can sort of expect watchOS 7.4 to officially be released. Now, other than that, that's about it for me when it comes to watchOS 7.4. This is how this update has been for me. And just in case you're wondering, I'm right here. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, a sub will be good. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Peace.